What's up, everybody? 915 Man here. Gonna do a little update today. We're gonna talk about the 180, some of the problems that I've been having, and some of the new goodies that I've gotten. If you didn't know, I got a little bit of a problem called Astorina. Had these problems before. I got a Harlequin shrimp before, wiped out the Astorinas, and uh, my Harlequin shrimp died because uh, I didn't feed it enough. Uh, but now I got another Harlequin shrimp, and it's going to go ahead and take care of some of these problems. I've been having a hard time kind of finding it. It's kind of like whenever the LFSs have them, I'll go pick it up. But as you can see, these little guys are getting bold. I did a video on them, about them, and I showed you where they actually eat SPS, where they may not only eat SPS, but they'll eat my Zoas. Uh, they eat coralline algae. They're just bad little things. I know that some of your elephants will say that they're harmless. In my tank, I don't play around. I'll pull them out, and I pull them out with some tweezers. I just pull them out, throw them in a little cup, and uh, be done with it and try to get as many as I can but now I have the help of my harlequin shrimp and it's a little guy very very little guy but uh, it's gonna go ahead and uh, take care of business for me in my tank but that's just the way it is in reefing you are gonna have many lows many things that you can do uh, and that's just one of them just add a little harlequin shrimp now let's move along to some goodies that I got from my buddy Javier. I didn't pay for these. In fact, uh, he brought them over and then um, I gave him some Zoas. I traded them up with some Zoas. So it was a win-win right there. But one of the nice things that I got and uh, actually been wanting for a while, I told him, hey man, um, whenever that thing grows out, let me have a, a frag of it. Let me just have a little tiny piece. So he brought me the whole thing. And, he, and when this grows out, I'll give him you know the piece of of the thing but what it is i got this from uh him he got it from uh what's that place called worldwide corals and then i got a space invader pectinia now this other guy i would give him a shout out but he's changed his name so many times here locally i don't even know your real name but uh this is from you i did go ahead and clean out the bubble algae on it and uh you can see where kind of the skeleton has receded a little bit, but it looks awesome and that looks really, really nice. And uh, it's going to grow good in my tank. This other piece right here looks really cool and it's uh, looking a lot better now that it's acclimatized in my tank and uh, the colors on it are pretty sweet. So now that it's been a couple of weeks, what have you guys been up to? I know we haven't talked in a little bit, you know, I haven't checked in. Well, you know, I've just been busy. Doing other things, I've been meaning to put out videos, but, you know, sometimes you just can't do it. Uh, I've been pretty consistent with the videos every single Sunday, and sometimes two videos a week. But uh, I'm back in it, guys, so thanks for hanging in there. And let's go ahead and take a further look at the tank. I'm going to go ahead and tell you some of the things that I've uh, ran into. So the first thing that I've ran into is water quality issues. I am using RODI water, period, point blank. That's what I use for my auto top off. I use RODI water, um, but I haven't been doing any water changes uh, because I just need to buy some salt. Uh, so naturally, my phosphates are going to go up. I'm going to have cyano, which I'm not afraid to uh, show you guys because I know if I have these issues, some of you guys are going to have the same issues. You know, not all of us get to just chill with our tanks all day. Some of us have, you know, other things that have are going around. So I haven't been using GFO, haven't been using carbon, haven't been doing water changes. Been totally, totally bad, bad reefer. I've just been letting my tank do its thing. Um, even my protein skimmer wasn't uh, skimming all the way 100%. It was skimming more like 10%. Um, and since then, I have fixed the issues. I still have a little bit of cyano, but I am using carbon. I did start using GFO. And uh, my maintenance, I've been throwing away 
GFO and the Carbon Weekly. Um, I'm not using like a whole whole bunch of it, but I am using enough of it. Some of the algae that I do have, I have green hair algae. Some of it is not super thick anymore. It has started to get a little bit lighter. So, you know, doing that does help. I just don't use carbon all the time because, you know, it may be bad for the fish with the lateral line disease and all that. Um, other things associated with carbon. But I do like using it because my water has been crystal clear. Before that, I just polished it with the filter socks. I know, same thing, filter socks, filter floss, same thing, but I, I've incorporated that GFO and carbon again. Another thing also with carbon, I didn't see the need to use it because I wasn't doing like chemically. I didn't have, um, you know, something in the water that I wanted to take out as far as um, medicine or anything like that. But, you know, I am going to use it right now until I get the hair algae down, get my cyano down, and then I'll, I'll take the carbon off again. But until then, I'm going to keep on using the carbon and GFO and uh, go from there. You can see that my harlequin shrimp is doing good. He's actually a lot bigger than what I got him from. Uh, if you look back at the video where he was in the bag, um, a lot smaller. Now he's a lot bigger. Uh, the only time you'll see him is at night. And uh, for a while, I didn't see him at all. So this is the first video of me introducing him into the tank that I've seen him. Um, I knew he was still alive when I first put him in because I threw in a chocolate chip starfish. You know, if it wouldn't have been alive, that chocolate chip starfish would have been moving around. Uh, but no, this little guy got that chocolate chip, drug it somewhere, ate all of it, and uh, it's starting to uh, get bigger. So those asterinas are going to slowly disappear here shortly. So that's a good sign. So with the protein skimmer, I just want to let you know, Get these little things out. Mine is not see-through, so I can't tell when it's dirty. You'll take it off, remove it from the hose, and shake it around. If you hear any salt creep, take a water hose to it, shoot the water in it through both ends, and uh, let it dry out. This reactor is my Aquamax reactor. It's the medium, I believe. Yes, it is a medium. Um, it's spitting out water like that because I have everything in a media bag. I didn't want to just put it in the sponge. I put everything in a media bag. That way I just cut it, clean it out, refill it, and replace it. Algae turf scrubber also there. Growing, I'll clean it out, and I'm dosing vinegar still. And uh, it'll clean everything out. Also, my Chato reactor looks a little bit full. I'll probably do a video. Let's see how full it gets. Last time, it failed me because it was so dirty. But it is full now. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. You guys have a good one. And uh, take care, like, and subscribe.